sometime. Um, I just got really busy with classes and couldn't keep up with the videos. So um, all of our harvesting is done. Proso Millet did okay. Uh, my Milo made 28 and 30, which is pretty good for me. Corn made nine and a half, which I was expecting that. Dad's corn didn't do very good. I think it made 140 on the county line, which is kind of disappointing. But to be expected with the hail. The circle of the house made like 107. Um, I think that's pretty good. I think Dad was happy as long as it made 100. Um, Milo didn't do too bad for Dad, but the two fields that looked really, really good made 19. And the other ones made, I think, at least 30. So that's nice. We got all the wheat drilled. It took a while. Our drills weren't doing very good. Um, we kept breaking down a bunch with those John Deere 9400s. But uh, I'm in the 8400 right now. We're heading down to a couple fields because uh, the first two fields that Dad drilled, we got like six heads of rain on them not long after and it washed a bunch in. And uh, cutting Milo, we realized that the sand wasn't very good. So we're heading down to go drill them, except uh, we're not pulling the 9400s. Pulling some Great Plains solid stand 45 foot dish drills. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit more about it. I think we're gonna drill it tomorrow. Today is Friday the 12th. No, Friday the 11th of November. Um, I'll show you more about it. We're just taking them down. I think I'm actually gonna be hauling corn later today for some friends. But uh, we're gonna get these down there, get them unfolded, and then uh, Dad's got a little bit of wheat. There's a decent amount of wheat up on them. It's just, it's pretty patchy and not very solid. So we're just gonna come back in. We're not gonna plant it at a full 50 pounds. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet, but we're just gonna go through plant it. So in that way, in the spring, we can have a nice full stand of wheat and go from there, not have any holes uh, for weeds to grow in. So we'll get these down, probably unfold them, mess around a little bit with them. Um, I just bought these. A week ago, I think. Dad just got them back Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday, I don't know. Um, got them out of Araba. They're set of 1996. Solid stand, 45 foot Great Plains drills. A little older than I wanted, but uh, the advantage is these only have 8,950 acres on them. Um, and the last four years when they hadn't been used, they sat in a shop. And you can tell because they're a pretty nice set of drills. So we'll uh, get them down and at least be able to test them out here a little bit and see how well they do.
ended up getting an extra truck. So there's been four trucks running. They have their older grain cart running now, which is the one just dumping on me. They've made pretty good work of this circle. Once we moved bins and got that extra truck, it's started, we've been able to keep up a little bit better and 212 rows is knocking it out pretty quick. Justin is running the 1282 Brent right now. And I bet he should be fairly full. And it seemed like that grain car got a decent amount on me, so. I don't know how much longer we're going to go tonight. We'll see. Uh, good. Got a lot of loads hauled. I think I'm on... I think this will be my seventh for tonight or today. And like I said, time Justin gets back to this end, um, I should be able to head back over to the bins at least one more time, but I don't really know what the plan is. So I'm just here to drive a truck. Sunday, uh, we're drilling some wheat. Uh, November 13th, we're drilling wheat. Um, as you can see, there is a decent amount of green. It's just right here is kind of a little bit better spot, but it's just really, really patchy, and there's a lot of spots in the rows that didn't come up. So we're just going through and redoing it. And then this spring should fill in all the gaps, and then shouldn't have as much space for wheats to grow. But these are the Great Plains 45 foot solid stand drills that I bought. Pretty nice, 10 inch spacing. Like I said, that's the main thing we wanted just to get the rows a little bit narrower, have a better shade on the ground. And it might kind of work out a little bit better with our corn planter, considering it's on 30 inch spacing. Might be able to do it to where we can run in between the wheat rows because this auto steer that we have in here, the Outback Mavericks, it's actually pretty good. We just have it on the basic setting, or the basic activation, I guess. It's not really, it's not an activation. I don't know what to call it right now, but we don't have any activations on it right now. We've kind of talked about maybe doing one for drilling and planting, but we'll see how well it works. Um, I mean, it does really good. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but those rows are pretty dang straight. The rows we're drilling into, if you look that way, that are from the 8960 with the older Outback, they're, they, it does good, but it just sits there and kind of fishtails a lot of times. Whereas this, it just pretty darn straight. And we got a decent amount of overlap. Uh, I think Dad has it set in for like 44 foot. But we can always play with that later. I think we're going to have enough wheat. I might have to move a little bit around because I'm on the short rounds and it's going gonna, it's gonna to start being a lot less on the rounds the way it is. And I'd rather not put any more in. So in that way, if we get down to the very corner and they're still just touch in, I'll just drill a different direction or something and clean the drills out because this has angled cups in it so in that way the wheat seed flows to the opening instead of just sitting there in the middle like what the 9400s are so that's really nice it is getting somewhat low um, I think when I get back to the other end I'll check just in case I do have a bucket in case I need to move some around we would have had plenty but uh, we didn't think to check the cups um, underneath the wheel that runs the actual seed out. There's a little door and lever that you can adjust for different seed sizes. And they must have used a little bit bigger seed because they had it down one notch. And so what we had for like 45 pounds, I think ended up planting like closer to 60. But we switched those before we put much more weed in and um, I don't know how well 
we could go about deciding what is planting now. We'll just have to wait till next spring when I do millet and then next fall for wheat, see if it makes a difference. But we'll, we should be at least able to get most of this field done. Um, if we don't get the turn rows done, the turn rows are better on this field. So we should at least be able to get most of the back and forth rows done. So we'll see how it goes. And over the winter, I'm probably going to try and make a few phone calls on this because we got a bucket of spare parts for this. And Dad was looking through it. There's actually a shaft monitor. And it looks really nice. It looks like it hasn't ever been used. Um, but there's a monitor with three little lights on it that I think you can somehow get sensors put on the shafts somewhere for each section of the drill because it's three 15 foot sections um, if it works and we have it I want to use it because with the 9400s there's plenty of times if the Sun was wrong something would happen and then you'd end up with a streak through your field because one of the sections wasn't drilling and if we can get it on the main shaft that actually runs through each seed cup I want to try and do that because then you really don't have to look too hard whether or not it's turning. It's pretty easy to see if it is turning because that right there is the chain and sprocket that runs that drill and then there's one right in there and you, I can see it and then there's that one on the end right there. So you can still see everything. But to me, if uh, we can make it work, I would rather have it because it'd be that much nicer. And, and I mean, you can always say you check constantly and constantly watch them, but it's the second you don't watch that something happens, you look away for five minutes and then you have a big streak. But if we can make it work, I want to try and make it work and use it. So in that way, we'll know the second something quits drilling. Back to hauling corn. Um, it's almost five o'clock now, but uh, got another three loads in for starting at noon or like 12.30, I can't remember what time I got here. But uh, it's going good. Already got a decent amount done, so um, probably get at least one more load. I don't know, it's getting, get dark here quick but um that's probably gonna be all for this video probably not a whole lot of good stuff but uh yeah not really a whole lot more that i can do i think i might help tomorrow morning um i think should be able to get a decent amount of this half done i think that's this is the last half of irrigated corn that they have and um that's all they're really gonna need a bunch of trucks for so probably help them finish at least this up tomorrow and then I'll head back up to Laramie so uh, for now that's gonna be all thank you for watching sorry it's been a long time but uh, I might get one more video on I might get to help them again who knows we'll see um, as for now there's not gonna be a whole lot going on maybe next hopefully next year will be better but for now thank you for watching see you next time